75,000 people in the dome, and we got a psycho on the loose. David Jansen, Donna Mills, Lipton Davis, Van Johnson, Ken Howard, playing the deadliest game of the year at the Superdome. It's certainly been a busy time for stadium news. From the Bears buying the Arlington Heights land needed for their new stadium, to the Louisiana governor putting the future of the Superdome renovations on hold due to funding issues, to Aaron Rodgers now being the apparent owner of Soldier Field. Before we dig into this week's news, subscribe to the channel and leave a like. It really does help out a ton. Thank you. We start in New Orleans at the world famous Superdome. Over the past decade, the Superdome has enjoyed hosting everything from a Super Bowl to the college football playoffs. In order to continue hosting such high-profile events, the Louisiana Stadium and Exposition District announced plans for a $450 million stadium renovation previously covered on the channel. When the LSED requested that the state help cover costs in the form of $90 million in debt forgiveness and other funding from the state, the bond commission that would need to approve such a move is now pushing back against the state giving the LSD any money for renovations, putting the future improvements in jeopardy. If these renovations don't happen, another city may step up and try to lure the Saints away with a shiny new stadium and tax breaks. While the odds of this happening are still low, it's still something to be on the lookout for. The renovations have already run into problems with a fire famously breaking out on the roof of last month after workers were trying to clean the gleaming white roof. Another controversy came when the team announced that 4,300 seats would have to be removed as part of the renovations. Season ticket holders in the sections voiced their opposition. Although the situation keeps getting worse and worse, I do think things will slowly get better. I think the LSED, the Saints, and the state of Louisiana will come to some kind of agreement to make sure renovations will continue and be completed by the 2024 deadline. The Saints are too important of a piece to the city of New Orleans to move anywhere else. As more news comes out about these renovations, I'll be sure to let you know. As always, this is Matt from the Archive of Everything. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, comment for future video ideas, and subscribe if you're new. As always, this is Matt again, and I'll see you all real soon. Thanks for watching.